Hello, this is Akiva from Twisted Tree Farm. I wanted to show you guys the difference between sugar maple and red maple, at least as far as identification goes. They're very different trees. Right here is a sugar maple leaf. And what you can see is the margins of the leaf, the edges, are very smooth. And they're between each lobe, it's just a nice uh, swoop, a nice curve, kind of like the U in the word sugar. So that's the sugar maple leaf. And right here is red maple. These are the two most common maples in the forest around here. And look at the edges on the red maple. Highly toothed, serrated, and in between the lobes is not that smooth U at all, but it's more of a, a notched V. It's more of a sharp angle. So those serrated edges, it's the red maple. Another thing you can notice is the red maple has a red stem on the leaf and the sugar maple, I don't know if you can see in the light, but it has a very green stem. Sugar maples and red maples, like I said before, are really different. Sugar maple is often referred to as hard maple by foresters because the wood is much denser and heavier than red maple. Sugar maples will grow generally in uh, nice conditions. They like to pop up in the shade and they'll grow in rich soils on slopes and sometimes in bottomlands but mostly on the hillsides. Whereas red maple is called the soft maple or the swamp maple and it'll grow anywhere. It will grow in swamps, it will grow up on the ridges, it'll grow under hemlocks, it'll grow really anywhere and it'll colonize fields much much better than sugar maple ever will do. I think red maples generally grow a lot faster but I think sugar maples are a little bit longer lived. And a lot of people think you can only tap sugar maples. That's not true at all. All the maples have edible sweet sap. And if you tap red maples or sugar maples and boil it down to syrup or just drink the sap, I doubt you'll ever uh, notice any difference. Uh, sometimes they say the content of the sugar maple is, is higher sugar, but uh, I don't know if that's always true. I think it varies a lot from tree to tree. Whether you got red maples or sugar maples, I suggest just drinking the sap from any of them. What a wonderful gift, sugar growing out of trees. Thanks for watching. Oh, and maybe I'll make a video in the winter and we'll look at the differences between the twigs of red maple and sugar maple because it's quite distinct.